Okay, welcome back. This is part two of my DIY tutorial on how to crochet a awesome colorful spiral dream catcher. And um, now we want to get to connecting the crochet spiral into the hoop. I've finished my rows and um, just to show you what we're working with here you can probably go on their website. This is the brand Derrico, I think it's what it's called. Um, and you can also go on Monroe's website, M U N R O apostrophe S MonroeCrafts.com, and you can order them under the macrame section of their website. So I believe the more you order, the cheaper they are. This is a 12 inch medium ring in gold, but um, you won't see the gold when I'm done with it because I'm going to crochet all of the yarn into onto the ring. So um, here's what we are going to do. It's going to get a little tricky with the yarn. As you can see, it's like tangled still. <laughs> but. I've got all my rows completed, seven rows, and it seems like it's too small, but it's going to stretch, and you want it to be taut, so that's okay. So we're going to start with the white, and now you want to have the yarn sort of through, so we're, just make sure it's like behind the, um, the hoop, because we're going to crochet a stitch there to secure it, and then we're going to begin single crocheting around the hoop. So now I've connected it with a, a single crochet. Um, so now we're going to crochet, I think I did on this hoop, I think I did about 25 stitches. We'll go ahead and count together until I got to the yellow and then I cut the white yarn and then I switched to the yellow. So now we're just going to see how I'm just yarning underneath the hoop like so and grabbing the yarn and going around the ring. You can kind of tighten it as you go. Um, and that's how I secure it in there. There's probably other ways to do it, but this is the way I do it. So feel free, whatever technique that you prefer to use. Um, so we're on one, two, three. Okay, so let's count. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, let's see if 25 works, then you can kind of scrunch them together because you don't want any of the gold showing. Um, I'd say 20, 25 is about good. Well, let's do 30, okay, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. Okay, so now we got 30 stitches on the white. We're going to take this white and we're going to cut. And now we have a hoop here. Leave that loop. Now we're going to come over here. You have yellow that you're going to connect to the white. So you're going to come back to the white loop and the yellow. And you're going to pull up that loop. And then move the stitches over if they're kind of in the way until the yellow is right next to the white. See that? That's what you want. And then you're going to stitch that yellow stitch. Sometimes it's a little cumbersome just until you get used to it. Just go slow until you feel you've got the hang of it. Pull that white stitch so now that's in there. Now you can either tie the ends at the end or you can just crochet around them which probably is better. Just try not to catch on to the white yarn as you're stitching the yellow. So let's go ahead and stitch 30 single crochets. Um, sometimes you got to tighten that first loop that you're adding on. 
Okay, there's the one. Okay, so we've connected the white to the yellow. So now we're going to go 30 stitches here. So let's go ahead and count one, two, three, four. Sometimes if you hold the, usually I tie the yarn. I don't, I don't crochet over it. So I'm going to just cut it a little shorter because I don't want that much of a tail. Um, so that way it the yarn, the white yarn won't get in my way as much as I'm stitching over to the next color. Okay, so four. Okay, you got to kind of hold it as you go. Five, six, seven, eight, piece of white yarn. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I don't usually do it like this, but I usually just leave the white and tie it, but then I feel like this is like the more right way to show you. I'm just not going to leave as long of a tail. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you can always come back and trim the little loose ends on the back at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. See, we're going under fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, so I have tangled yarn here, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, Okay, you leave the loop, you're going to grab your scissors, cut, yep, hook there, okay. So now you push them over because you want to go from the yellow to the orange. So through the yellow, pick up the orange, pull up the loop, but make sure the orange, you want to work from behind the loop. Make sure, if your yarn is up here, you just want to kind of reach around the hoop and then it'll be, it'll make sense, it'll be easier. Okay, so now you're pulling that yellow stitch so it's tight, and then you pull the next color through. So now we're on orange, and we're going to stitch around that yellow. So one, two, three, four, oops, five, Six, seven, okay, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, okay, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's enough tail. I'm going to go ahead and trim this little bit of yellow. It's getting in my way. Now we're on 20. We need 10 more stitches. Okay, so 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Leave a loop. Time to cut with your scissors. Okay, now we're going to add the red, but push the orange over like so. Put your hook through that orange loop. You're going to grab the red. You're going to pull up the loop, but come behind it. Come behind the, the hoop so you can get control of how you're stitching. Okay, now 
you're going to pull up a loop through the red, through the orange, tighten that orange like so, and now you're going to stitch over the orange, and you're going to do 30 stitches. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, oops, you can probably trim that tail down, come on, number thirteen, okay, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, push them down, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So a loop. It's a little shorter this time. Okay, now, push that over a little bit, come to the, the loop again, you're going to Come from the front, bring up the pink, pull it up, see it's starting to connect. All right, now push the stitches over a little bit if they're not quite lining up right. Same thing, we're switching to the pink now, and we're, we're going to come back to that red and tighten it, and then we're going to stitch around that red. So 30 stitches. One, two, three. I'm stitching pretty tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're going to want to take breaks because ooh, it makes your hands get a workout. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Take a breather, <laughs> stretch your hands. These are some good hand stretches, by the way. <laughs> oh, shake it out. Okay, we're on number 10. Okay, 11, 12. Yeah, that little piece is bugging me. Okay, a little slower. 12. 13, oops, 14, 15, 15. If you want to come back and trim it again, you can do that because sometimes when you get to that little itty bitty piece at the end, it's just like, oh my god, it's being a pain. Stubborn. Doesn't want to. Completely cooperate. What number was I on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fourteen. Okay. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. 28, 29, and 30. Scissors. Your scissors. Okay. Now we are on hot pink. So from hot pink, you're grabbing the light pink, and you're coming behind and you're pulling it up. So you're going to now connect the light pink to the hot pink with a single crochet through that hot pink and pull that stitch down, tighten this. Okay, now you're going to do, well, I'm going to crochet around this piece, I forgot. You're going to crochet 30 stitches around this piece. We're pretty much halfway around now, so let's, I might as well just show you how to do the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm just going to come back with my scissors and trim this end here that is just getting a little bit in my way again. Okay, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Same thing. I'm going to trim that, and now we are coming up to the light purple. So we are connecting, push this back a little, light purple, tighten the pink, pull your first stitch through that pink, and now you're crocheting 30 stitches and you're going to just crochet right around that tail. Trim it when it's when you feel like it's time to. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, okay, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, cut that end. Use your scissors, trim it. We're on 15. We are almost there. So you see how each section gets its own color. All right. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Excuse me, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And if you miss, if you miss count, and there's like one or two extra stitches in there, I wouldn't worry about it because this is something, you know, nobody's going to really notice if there's like one little stitch that's off or something. Okay, same thing. Light purple to dark purple. You are going to bring up a stitch right through the light purple. You're going to tighten it like so. Now you're going to crochet around. Tighten up that dark purple too a little bit. Okay, now you're going to, it's still not tight enough, sometimes you gotta do that. Tighten it before you start stitching. Okay, so one, two, three, Four. Sometimes I hold this little guy under here to be able to have more control over stitching over it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Once I get to about 15, I can trim that end a little bit. The last color. Just be careful not to cut the other one. Okay. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I got a little tangled. So <laughs> 
a little bit of yarn out. Okay, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. There we go. And you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut that corner. And now we are on to the dark blue. So hook through the purple, hook through the blue. Tighten up the purple, pull up the blue, tighten it up. You want it nice and tight so you can have a nice good stitch around that, that ring. So then you're going to pull the purple right back behind it. And you're going to, again, stitch 30 stitches. You're stitching around the ring. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Cut the, loop, cut the blue, come back to it right here. You're going to pull up the turquoise and you're going to tighten it as best you can. Single crochet around that stitch, pull the blue, dark blue color back. Pull that tail and crochet 30 stitches around that color. Okay, so fix that stitch a little bit tighter. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, Nine. Okay, almost there. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, oops, 20, I'll go ahead and trim this tail, 10 more stitches, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Scrunch them over. Scrunch them over on both sides because you've got to do two more colors and then you'll be able to tighten up the back. Okay. Now this one, let me see. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Somehow, somehow there's a mistake in here. Um, but I think I think what I need to do. Uh, 
you see what I'm saying? I think this is, there's a mistake right here. So, it happens, but I think you get the gist, but I think I have to come back. Let me see, let me turn the light back on. My light went out. Okay, so it happens. Sometimes you realize a little late in the game, <laughs> but okay. So had a little mistake. I'm going back to fix it. I think I just stitched far too a little too far with the green, so I'm just coming back and redoing my double crochets here. So now we're back where we were. Connect the blue to the green. Pull the blue, and we're going to pull through our green and to the blue, tighten the blue, and then we're going to stitch 30 stitches around here. Tighten it one more time. Okay, one, two, oops, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, now we're going to cut this string right here. Now we're on 15, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Now we're going to cut this green. Okay. Now I see, actually, I see one more mistake. Sorry. Um, so this green, see the loop is over here. It's actually supposed to be over there. So we're going to, I'm going to show you my boo-boo, and I'm just going to undo it, and I'm going to go to right here. That's actually where it should be. Okay. It's okay. It happens. So back into the green, right into the light green, and from here you are going to finish this awesome fun thing. I'm going to show you how to pull the loop in the bottom, in the middle I mean. Okay, so 30 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to trim that green now. Okay, trim your hands whenever you feel that you should. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, now you're done. Now, almost. A few more things you gotta do. Cut the green, and um, just like these little weird little ends from when you wove in, just pull them on the back, 
pull them like like that and then once you pull it you can go ahead and take your scissors and just kind of get it one more time so you see what I'm doing you can basically go back and clean it up a little bit okay I won't do all of them I've got like I gotta just go back and and you can also straighten out these these rows they get all twisty so just go back and kind of fix them so they're all straight Let's see okay and then you know you get the idea trim all that stuff and okay voila isn't that awesome so now you have all these strings on the back but you want to find the white one okay so Here's the white one, because we're going to tighten it a little bit. So we're going to pull that. See how it's tightening it? Okay. You don't want it to be, you don't want it to be bunched up, but you just want to kind of go slow, because you want it to um, pull it in kind of tight, but not bunch up. But I think that's good. What do you think? It's good to me. Okay. So now you can do whichever way you prefer with weaving in the ends. I kind of crochet them in and tie them. Like I'll I'll bring this one to the green and underneath with my hook and tie it. Same with the yellow to the orange. I'll kind of crochet that. I'll get a smaller hook too. Sometimes it helps make it easier to get the yarn through the loops. So you're going to tie off all these ends. And then you have this little end on the top no biggie you can um sometimes I just go into that first stitch but here's the thing it's so tight because I stitch tighter on the ring I'm not gonna be able to do it with this hook but if you get a smaller hook and you just go through that first stitch and you pull this green through there you can tie it in the back or you can weave it in with a tapestry needle and then you can fringe it and fringe is pretty self-explanatory it's pretty easy to do um, so you can get creative and I showed you what kind of yarns I used um, in the beginning of this tutorial so feel free to have fun with whatever is in your stash happy crocheting happy creating I hope you enjoyed this fun tutorial please don't be intimidated I know it's kind of crazy tricky to do but once you do it one time the next time around gets easier so until next time happy crocheting